how satisfied are you with what you've been able to do to kind of remake this bullpen on the fly here? I, th I think overall, overall, we're looking to add to the team in, in a variety of different ways, um, add some quality arms to the pen. After Senga's injury, try to fortify our rotation a little bit um, and then add, add a lefty bat. And so to be able to, to come away um, and doing that, it, it's good. Um, and uh, and, and we're, we're happy we were able to do it. You mentioned the Senga injury. Did your focus shift significantly after that day and, and make acquiring a starting pitcher that could you know pitch in that rotation a, a necessity? Yeah, I, I think you're never going to replace a, a pitcher like Senga at the deadline. And so um, I think we just tried to figure out how best to fortify our team around it. And it meant both in the rotation and the bullpen um, to ensure that we had enough arms um, and some flexibility in various roles uh, to put us in the best position for, for the next two months and hopefully beyond. Will? Hey, David, given the season that you guys are having and the situation that I guess we seemingly saw with the trade deadline being there was like a lack of sellers in the market, why didn't you guys part with more from like the top of your farm system maybe to land somebody of high, maybe high impact that was out there? Yeah, I think, I think that's always the balance, right, is trying to figure out what, um, what the right segment of your system to include in, in any particular deal. And in this situation, um, given the players that were available, given the prices on certain players, we felt like this was the right course to take um, and that the transactions that we were able to, to execute were the right ones to do. What do you like about Blackburn? I think this is an, an incredibly consistent pitcher um, who fills the strike zone, has kind of a kitchen sink approach to, to what he does. Um, and we think he's going to fit into our rotation quite nicely. Tony? To that end, do you anticipate Blackburn becoming part of a six-man rotation right now, or are you going to put him in a five-man, or what's your plan there? We're, we're still working through that, and we'll probably talk through that over the next couple of days to have a definitive plan of, of what this is going to look like. David, what did intrigue you about Tyler Zuber? Yeah. And this is an interesting story. This is a guy who was pitching indie ball not too long ago. Um, he's made some really fascinating, uh, frankly, his pitch shapes have changed. He's made some uses adjustments. Um, we think he's got the ability to get both sided, both um, sided uh, hitters out. Um, again, he's got roster flexibility, which is something that is going to be important for us as we go through the next couple months with all the games we have, with the long road trips. Um, he's got control left. Uh, so he's, he's someone that, uh, frankly, we've been talking with the Rays about for a couple of weeks, and we're able to line up today. After all the moves that you did make, is there anything that you wanted to accomplish at the deadline that you did not? Um, I, I don't think so. I think there, there are always players you pursue that you would have liked to uh, acquire. There are always conversations you have that, um, that, that you try to steer in a, a particular direction. But um, we're happy with the work that went into this. We're happy with our process um, and, and, and pleased that we were able to add some talent to the team. After not adding a lefty reliever or an, an established lefty, you have a handful of them back there right now, but what is your take on that situation? Yeah, I, th I think we have, um, as you said, three lefty relievers who we have confidence in in our major league pen right now. Um, we also have some pit right-handed pitchers who are capable of getting left-handed hitters out, and, and we've got some of those guys coming back off of injury hopefully soon. Dave, you, you seem to come into the season with a plan and what you wanted to do. You know, you've talked about short-term and long-term, and I think when the team went on a run from June 1st, you, you guys have had the best record in baseball. Did that change, you know, the view, and was there a temptation to think differently about the team when you saw it play as well as it did, or did you still try to keep, you know, that short and long-term thing and not be kind of pulled into the, the temptation of maybe doing more than or giving away more than, than you would have? Um. Well, I, I think the the plan coming into the season was to compete and make the playoffs. Like that 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 was the plan, and that remains the plan. Um, and so I think where we are right now doesn't really matter how we got here. We we got to a place um, where we are a playoff caliber team. We believe we're a playoff caliber team, and we did what we thought was the the right thing to do in and adding um, to certain components of the team. Abby got a couple guys like Blackburn and um, Brazoban who have team control left. Was that something that you were specifically looking for, or was that just an added bonus? 
No, I, th I think that's part of um, some of the transactions we made, and it was desired um, to have some uh, some control over certain play players, Blackburn, Brazzaban, Tyler Zuber as well, who, who we acquired, um, who can help us not only this year but into the future. Would you have given up any of the top prospects if there was something that had blown you away, or were you specifically looking to keep, I don't know, your top 20 guys or something like that? Yeah, I, I don't. We, we don't take anyone off the table. Like, we, there's there's not a, a an organizational philosophy to um, to just say we're not going to talk about anyone. I think that's um, that ties your hands a little bit. But uh, clearly, we value some of our our top prospects very highly. We think they're going to contribute um, here for a long time, and, and we were very mindful of that as we went through the process. Will, hey David, just to clarify on the question about the temptation to do other things. Um, so, so you guys didn't explore opportunities to like maybe move guys who are on expiring contracts or anything like that to fortify any holes? Was that at all on the table for you guys? Not really. I, I think we got, look, we got a ton of calls. And my philosophy is always to listen. Um, but we certainly weren't making outgoing calls on that. You didn't end up trading any of your top prospects, as you said. To what extent were other teams trying to get those guys from you? Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's their jobs. Um, yes. Uh, every single one of our top prospects was asked about multiple times. Yeah. And was it, as those conversations progress, is it ever tempting or was it, was it easy? No, thank yous. No, the, there are, there are challenging decisions across all of these conversations. Um, and, and we consider everything very seriously and uh, there is rarely a, clear-cut decision on these things. Um, we're, we're, we're always having dialogue and debate um, and, and then ultimately try to make the best decision possible.